Take a delicious Italian cafe. Hello, folks. How are you? Add in a stylishly cool bar. Ladies, you enjoying yourselves? <laughs> you all right? Not too bad? Top it off with one extremely outgoing owner. Hot! And you've got the recipe for La Rosa's. Hi, my name is Paul La Rosa, and welcome to La Rosa's. Located in Andover, Mass, La Rosa's is like two restaurants in one. Since 2009, it's been a friendly cafe where people come for awesome sandwiches and salads. But a few months ago, when the spot next door became available, they decided to expand in both space and style. I've always wanted to do something in the evening. We were able to do some creative food, some creative drinks, progressive wine lists. So that's what we did. We went ahead and opened up this 28C5. So while the cafe cranks all day, once the sun goes down, the white tablecloths come out and the bar at La Rosa's becomes the hottest spot in town. This is a city-style place located right in the suburbs. From the minute you walk in to the type of the music that we play to the overall look of the entire place, you feel like you're in the city. So we have a bunch of black and white photos as soon as you walk in here. Old family photos. Some of them taken in 1955, two weeks before my family came to America. We got a black floor, we got a black ceiling, really giving that slick modern vibe. And then it's followed by the main showpiece of the whole place, and that is our marble bar. It's Carrera Marble, really, really fantastic, a super, super show piece as soon as you walk in. The other thing you'll see when you walk in is Paul himself, because this guy is a triple threat. You guys all set with the clamps? He hosts. Shall we, folks? Yeah. Andiamo. He cooks. Muscles up. And he even provides the entertainment. When it comes to the food, you can start with oven-roasted chicken wings with truffle oil and pecorino, tuna crudo topped with fried leeks, or fiery shrimp fra diavolo. We use some nice big jumbo shrimp, and then we blast it with some chili flakes, some garlic, and some nice plum tomatoes. So then when you bite one of those shrimp, you get that nice little snap. You dunk some bread right in the sauce, and the marriage is perfect. The apps at La Rosa's are great, but the entrees include some real showstoppers, like this ridiculous one-pound meatball smothered in homemade tomato sauce and topped with honey basil ricotta. Now the ricotta is creamy, but you get that sweetness of the honey, a little bit of the herbal sensation from the basil. Now the meat is beautiful, it's nice, it's soft. And then as you scoop this tomato sauce, the tomato sauce has a little bit of tanginess, a little bit of acid. So when you mix that all together, you get the herbs, that acid, the sweetness, the creaminess. It's really kind of just a perfect bite. Another jaw dropper and head turner is this spectacular bone-in veal parmigiano. We start off with the 14 ounce milk-fed veal chop. Bone sticking right off the plate. We're gonna coat that in some panko crumb, bake that right off in the oven, comes out super crispy, top up with some La Rosa's signature tomato sauce, fresh mozzarella, some fried basil leaves right on top. It walks out, the people look at it, it's like a dinosaur coming right through the dining room. People's eyes just bulge and they all go, what is that? While most of the menu at La Rosa's tends towards tradition, there's one item you'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else in the world. The chicken parm pizza. Because instead of dough, the base of this pizza is actually chicken. The chicken parm pizza here is something that's out of this world. What we do is we start off with some chicken breast, some dark meat. We're gonna put that into a mold and we're gonna create essentially a pizza crust. We're gonna bread it just like you would a chicken parm. We're gonna pan fry it. That comes out. Sauce, a nice provolone mozzarella blend goes right on the top of that. Baked off in the oven and comes out cut just like a pizza. The panko crumb gives a really a beautiful, beautiful crust to it. And you can just pick it up and chop. You get that crunch factor to go on, and then you realize I'm eating chicken. It plays with your mind a little bit because you think you're gonna eat some dough, but you're not. This is just pure protein topped off with all the stuff you love. Sauce, mozzarella cheese, and a little bit of basil. <laughs> Back to something a little more traditional, the pasta here is just about perfect, especially the cavatelli bolognese. You want somebody to kind of give you a hug through food? We got you covered. It's our lamb and short rib bolognese, also has a touch of sausage in it. Goes all into the pan with some plum tomatoes, some masala wine, a bunch of fresh sage, cooks down for six hours, toss in some fresh ricotta cavatelli right in that, a touch of mascarpone cheese. You eat that and you just feel so warm inside. For a pasta dish that's a delicious twist, check out the rigatoni bianco. Rigatoni Bianco is taking a bolognese and kind of flipping it on its head. A white bolognese. We start with the classic ingredients of beef, veal, pork, cook that down, add the mirepoix, and we toss 
toss in some Chardonnay, a touch of sweet cream to that, a little bit of chicken stock. We just let that cook for about three, four hours, and it really just embraces you. When we serve that with some shortcut rigatonis, you get that and you feel like you're in your mother's house. Paul's passion for food comes from his family, and it's what motivates him to share the love at La Rosa's. I mean, there was nothing better than going to your grandparents' house on a Sunday, and as you're walking up the stairs in East Boston, you can just smell the tomato sauce and the basil and the love coming from the apartment. Puts a smile on my face. I'm myself, I'm happy, and this is exactly what I want to be in. Thank you.